first Monday. It's the third day of Nebraska shotgun season. Spring 2021 and uh, seeing the video, we gained the property yesterday. Watched these turkeys get a roost down here. We thought they were to the uh, to the west, but they actually got in. There's one goblin right over here in front of us to the east a bit. But we're right in the tree line where we saw them strutting yesterday when I snuck around the corrugated steel. So we got in here with the blind, got everything set up, got our buddy here. It's windy, it's supposed to snow today. Hoping they head right for these cedars to mill around in with the bad weather coming. And uh, there's one long beard and four jakes. And I think eight hens. Sylvan's so gonna try to kill the long beard. I'm gonna try to shoot the jake, biggest jake. And uh, see if we can't get a second tags filled here in Nebraska. So stay tuned. Dude, he's got hooks on him. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The issue is, of course, you know, we have hens out. Is that gonna... The, are the other are the hens gonna stay away from He's him? fixing to fly down. He's looking at the ground. <coughs> there you go. There you go. Yep, he's coming this way, though. I mean, he flew down this way. Look at these two rascals down in the creek walking. That one's got a little stubby tail. Well, so far, they pitched down. It's probably been an hour since they pitched down or close to it, maybe 45 minutes. And they went straight down toward the creek. We expected to come up here in these cedars and wrap around this. There's like a... We have a fenced off little area here for the cattle. But there's a bunch of manure and turkey feathers here. I mean, there's turkey crap everywhere throughout this place. They move all around here. We're just hoping at some point during the day they're going to come within shotgun range. <clears throat> so we got the buddy heater rolling. It's snowing. It's blowing. We're just sitting here watching animals. And thank God it's a game rich environment because we got lots to watch. We got raccoons, geese, ducks, um, collared doves back here singing. Meadowlarks are still singing away, so maybe we'll see some big game out here in the prairie eating yet. Snowing pretty good now. I just looked over here to see a pronghorn feeding. Nice buck. Well, he's not that nice, but he's a buck. Out there in the snow. He's coming right to us. He's gonna come down here and drink at the creek. That's what he's gonna do. This is a $200 camera, and it is doing phenomenal. That's 200 times zoom. He's probably... Seven or eight hundred yards. Let's hope they don't keep going. It's eight fifty six. It's three hours now. We haven't seen them and they just, just appeared out there along the creek. Um they're gonna I think they're feeding to the to the left and they're gonna just hook up around there and it's just, just a big U. They're either gonna come straight up here or work left, but I feel good about our position. There he is. He just appeared. He's down there with his hens and the jakes are in front of him.
cookies. Don't be in those cedars, got a hard time. Yeah, them cedars, I mean, <laughs> that's where they'll be. Because it's windy and blowing, and here they are in the middle of the field. Suck it up. Huh? Oh yeah. Instead, we're gonna go get that extra propane bottle. And he says it's a good thing we're in the blind because it's cold, and it is. It's pretty bitter out we there. We got the buddy heater in here, and it's snowing and blowing, and we're comfortable. You got snacks? They just turned. Which way? Coming right to it, or back to the right now? I mean, they huh. just literally just. Snap to turn right around. Okay. Like they got up in the wind and said, No, we're not doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. That's 61 yards. 61. I knew it was going to be a stretch. So here's what happened now. Oh, I didn't film it because we were in a hurry. We just snuck out of the blind once the birds disappeared and we went up on top of the hill and we crept up over and we looked down in the creek and they're heading this direction. But we're worried they're gonna skirt us. We moved the blind literally eight to 10 yards this toward the birds so that we could shoot up along the backside here because there's buildings up here, the farm buildings we wanna shoot at. If they come through here, I'm afraid they're gonna this to focus. If they come out through all crossed up here, um, they, 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 you can see they slip through right here. There's some corrugated steel and they slip through and Sylvan says that's 61 yards. That way if they get over here we can shoot back up in there and kill one. Well I've never seen a goose in a tree till today. Freaking gooses in that cottonwood. Okay, so update, it's about noon, actually a little afternoon. The last time we saw those turkeys was about, oh, 12.30. It was three hours ago the last we saw those turkeys over there at the uh, creek. And at this point, we're getting a little impatient. I wanted to know where they were at. So there was a way I could get around them. So long story short, I got around up top. And I came in from by the equipment shed up here to look down at the creek and see if I get eyes on them. I pulled my binoculars up. In the bottom of my binoculars, after scanning the creek, I saw a turkey head, and here I slowly dropped him, and there's three hens at 40 yards, and they're literally, I'm thinking any moment they're going to pop out along this edge here, and they're coming straight toward um, our 2 o'clock. guy is pulled up and that's right where the birds were at Alrighty. well here's what's been going on it's uh three o'clock it's like three about three fifteen we've been in here since five o'clock this morning and uh, these birds I walked up around saw them the last time I talked I saw these turkeys and they were coming this way and then that guy shows up. They're working on a piece of equipment there at the shed. And I said, I better go find these turkeys and find where they're at. Because the guys left. The farmers left. I come out and I army crawl up, up. Or I walk up along these cedars. And I look up on top. And there's three mule deer standing there. I'm like, okay. So I start glassing around looking for turkeys. If there's anything else around. And I just crashed the top. And I saw a hen 40 yards in front of me. And she just bolts it into the cedars. I'm like, man. Somehow them turkeys got up, walked through the buildings, had to have walked through the buildings, and came out above us. Now it could have been a hen that split from the flock, seems how it's spring and they're breeding and stuff. But, uh, Sylvan and I sat here and talked for quite a while, and it's like, we gotta get eyes on these birds, I have no clue where they're at. We were hoping they'd come through here by now, they were in here this time yesterday. But between the farmers and stuff.
stuff. I mean, we're being patient, but there's only so much you can do before you gotta get eyes on him again, so. He just took a walk. He grabbed his gun. He's going out around. He's gonna try to glass him. And I'm staying here. See what happens. Selvin's report says, uh, he saw that lone hen, and he cannot find the main flock with the Tom and the Jakes. It's 4.15, we've been hit the blind almost 11 hours, and uh, they never even came close today. So we're gonna, we're heading, heading back, we're gonna pack out of here. Tomorrow they're wanting 30 mile an hour winds, so we're gonna go scout the Pine Ridge on some public land north of us. And uh, we'll try these probably on Wednesday once it's nicer out again and see if we can kill one because they're in these cedars. They were in here yesterday. They'll be in there again on a sunny day, so hopefully we can make something happen. Well, it's probably 4.45 or 5 o'clock and we're heading back to uh, Mark's for the evening. But anyway, when we went to leave that place, we just happened to see them. They were out in the field. They were a couple fence rows over. They went way out around. I think between the people that we saw at the farm today and possibly us being unaware of how close they were as we set up the blind this morning, it was just enough to keep them away. And uh, they, they were out there in the tree line. So they're not stupid. Uh, we're going to go back in there, not tomorrow, but Wednesday when it's sunny with the blind and set, out, set them out again and hopefully kill them. What are we fixing to eat? Whatever. What is that? Hmm? That's some wild turkey. Wild turkey. Wild dead turkey. <laughs> He's right up there right now. Oh yeah. There's two of them. Right here he is in the back, right here. Right here. Two, two hens. It's a long beard. Just killed this one, it's what, May 19th, April 19th, here in Nebraska. This turkey was with these two hens in his fence row, and uh, we come in and, well you see what happened. We got in here and set up against these trees right here, these two hackberry trees, and they, we never called, we just left them coming here. We figured they'd roost in one of these two trees, and they come right down in along here. Sylvan was on the right, I was on the left, and uh, he stuck, he come right along the edge of the field and I was able to shoot him. Beautiful tail fan.
lot more of a Rio fan to it. This one, not near as white. We were chasing one this morning. Sylvan's going to try to kill north of here. And then we thought we'd drive around the night and see what we could find. Really didn't expect to get into much. And what we see? Three long beards. Yeah. Got a decent beard, maybe six inches. That's number two for Nebraska. Actually, number three, but not my seconds. So now, I actually killed the last one, too, that we shot, so Sylvan's a deal. He's both killed opening day, and now we killed Monday, so. 